Hi, this is Brian from Riverside Reptiles Education Center. Welcome to our YouTube channel. So for today's video, uh, I got everyone's favorite in this box. She is gorgeous, I think. She's got black hair. She has eight legs. Um, and she has two very large fangs. You can probably already guess what I'm talking about. A tarantula. So I'm gonna gently get her onto my hand and we'll take a closer look at this. Cool invertebrate. There she is. Isn't she beautiful? So there's over 900 species of tarantulas all throughout the world. Um, we can find them here in the United States, in the American Southwest, all the way down into Mexico, into South America. And then there's some old world tarantulas as well in Africa, Asia, and Australia. Now, most of you probably already know that tarantulas are invertebrates and they are arachnids. So they have eight legs and they have two major body parts. They have a big abdomen right there and their head and their thorax are combined. They're called a cephalothorax. Now, what makes tarantulas unique? What makes them different from other spiders? Well, many of them get fairly large. This is called a Brazilian black tarantula and she has a leg span of about five or six inches. There are some dwarf species of tarantula, but many of them are around this size, around the five to six inch leg span. Tarantulas also are covered with hair. Now it's not hair like our hair, it's not like mammalian hair. Instead it's hollow hair, it's called urticating hair. So urticating hair acts as a defense for the tarantula. So if a predator tries to attack this spider, they can actually kick these tiny hairs off and it gets into your skin, it can get into the eyes of the predator, it can get into permeable membranes. Um, it's very uncomfortable. It can make you itch, it makes the animal uncomfortable. Um, and in some cases, it can create a, 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 a severe rash as well. Different species of tarantulas have different types of urticating hair. Some are more severe than others. Thankfully, Brazilian black tarantulas, their hair is not too bad at all. Gently moving on my hand. She's just feeling around. As you can see, she's not trying to hurt me. Uh, a lot of tarantulas and spiders in general get a bad rap, but they want nothing to do with us, pretty much. They are actually our best friends because they eat a lot of insects. Many species of spiders prey mostly or primarily on insects. Now, if you look right here on top of her head, it looks like she's got only a small clump of eyes, but there are actually eight eyes there all clumped together. And can she, she can see almost in about a 360 degree view. Now if I'm very gentle right here, see these two finger-like appendages coming off of her abdomen? Those the, are the external parts of her spinnerets. On the inside, there's a little sac which holds a liquid. That's the silk. The silk only turns into a solid once it hits the air. Now, different species of spiders have different types of silk. Uh, but if I'm very gentle, let's see if we can get some. You see that? Isn't that cool? So tarantulas primarily use their silk for a couple different things. Number one is they line the inside of their burrows with it. Um, it keeps the burrows substrate from caving in, keeps it nice and cozy. They'll also lay out trip lines, depending on the species, outside of their burrow. So if a small insect walks by, hits that trip line, they'll tell the spider inside the burrow that there's prey outside, they'll reach out, grab it, pull it back into the burrow. Um, they also use their silk, the females use their silk to wrap their eggs. Now, many spiders, we know, build webs to catch their prey. Tarantulas, however, do not. So as I said before, they line the inside of their burrows with their silk. 
Um, but then they come out at night to hunt. Now some will lay trip lines, so they don't really venture too far from their burrows. Some are more active hunters. So they'll crawl around the rainforest or the desert, actively searching out their prey. So if I'm very gentle with her, I'm gonna show you her fangs. got two huge fangs right there. Now tarantulas are more of a primitive spider, so their fangs go up and down. More modern day spiders like uh, house spiders, black widows, wolf spiders, their, sang their fangs go from side to side, almost like pinchers. So the more primitive spiders, the tarantulas, their fangs go up and down. So in order for a tarantula to eliminate its prey, it has to raise the the beginning of the front of its body up off the ground and come down with its fangs. Now, tarantula venom isn't medically significant to us. I've only bitten, been bitten by a tarantula once, actually. It was my first visit to the tropics. I saw a tarantula walking around at night. I was so excited. I tried to coax the tarantula onto my hand. It ran up my arm and I put my hand over it. And as soon as I did that, it sunk its fangs into my arm. Um, it felt like a bee sting. It was unpleasant, uh, hurt a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. It swelled up a, just a tiny little bit. It was itchy, kind of exactly like a bee sting or a wasp sting, and it was gone within 24 hours. Um, I already knew that there was no tarantulas or spot, the tarantulas down there that were dangerous to us, um, so I know what risk I was taking. Um, but the venom, again, only made it itch a little bit. It wasn't too bad. Um, and I left of a lesson learned not to try and wrangle wild tarantulas like that. I'm much better at catching them now. Another neat thing about tarantulas, uh, they actually have retractable claws on the tips of their toes right here. Um, they're really small, they're hard to see, but that's how she's actually, if I tilt my hand just gently, you can see she's sticking to my skin. And you can see those two little claws at the base of her, her legs right there. So it's a very neat, interesting feeling when they're walking on you because you can kind of feel those little claws kind of anchor in, like little grappling hooks anchor into your skin as they're walking. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot about tarantulas. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends. If you have any other questions about tarantulas, please post them in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again, and from Riverside Reptiles Education Center, Tarantula says bye.